One of the things that's run through all of my practice has been a relationship with technology. I'm fascinated in, in, in how um, AI might actually develop the conversation around what is choreography, who has to make choreography, what are the potentials of choreography. And I guess that's how we started to work with, with Google. At the Google Arts and Culture Lab, we bring um, artists, curators, together with engineers and creative technologists to experiment at the intersection of art and technology. Hi, I'm Bastien. I'm a creative coder here at the lab. I've been involved in the machine learning and the interface as well. So when we started working with Wayne, we were really interested about movement prediction. We found a research paper which was about handwriting prediction. And we think, what if we use that for predicting dance movement? We use the archive from Wayne to train the algorithm so they can use this data to generate movement. When I'm working with dancers normally, what I'm asking them to do through their own creativity is make iterative versions of an idea that I might have proposed. What this tool does for each little moment is do 400,000 iterations of that, yeah? So the, the canvas is way, way bigger. We had to gift the archive, and it was a huge archive, you know, it was thousands of hours of video to be analyzed. What this tool allows us to do is go, okay, I'm starting with this phrase. I would like the machine learning tool, the AI, to invent the next phrase, but in the style of Jordan, or in the style of Jess and then you can get combinations of those. Um, and then it's learning all the time and feeding back. And so this iterative version gives you all of these new possibilities you couldn't have imagined. The phenomenal thing about this, it's in real time. You know, this transaction of energy between computer or interface and live body is really swift. And what I think is really interesting is it's not creating a copy of what's before. It's not finding something else in the archive and matching that. It's creating something totally original. I can see in the future this kind of performance experiment, which I'd be really interested in doing live on stage, because I think part of the um, experience of creating something with the use of AI and an AI form that makes a novel dance that's never been danced before is that actually you see that working in a kind of a, a kind of a collaborative environment and so I'd love to see that on stage. Mm -hmm.